Can't you see that I'm upset? Our affairs are none of your business. I don't know who you are, and you think I'm going to talk to you about my ex-lover? We'll see. Ex- we I'll take that, and thank you very- I suppose I can trust you with this information. After all, if you can help me recover my stolen gold, you may find yourself earning some of it. I know what you've heard, all about Jorunda and his run-in with the town guard. Well, let's just say it isn't exactly all true. I may have let a detail or two leak out to entice someone such as you to assist me. Until you agree to my scheme, I don't want to say more. All I can promise is that you'll be making a lot of money. Are you in or are you out? Smart answer. Here's the deal. Jorunda and I have had a rocky relationship at best. Against my will, I've been dragged all over Cyrodiil helping him commit petty crimes. I wouldn't say we're thieves. I mean, we've stolen things, sure. But we've never stolen that much at one time. Just enough to keep us going. That is until last year. Jorunda started to take risks and began robbing more dangerous targets. Not just lone merchants, mind you. I'm talking about the bigger scores, like estates and tax shipments. I begged him to stop, as I knew that his capers would one day lead to violence. He just threatened to hurt me if I got in his way. I think the gold changed him, I really do. He wasn't the man I met seven years ago. The few times I tried to say something, he'd strike me or push me away. I began to become frightened of him. Our last score was a tax shipment being delivered to the Imperial City. We robbed it, and in the midst of the chaos, Jorunda killed a guard. I was mortified. We snatched up the gold and holed up in the mountains. He said if I breathed a word of the murder to anyone, he'd kill me. I was terrified of him at this point. Two days later, the Bruma City Guard traced us to our makeshift campsite. I was off gathering food, but Jorunda was captured. Served him right. When I went back to the site later, the gold was gone. He'd moved it! What I need you to do is go to the Bruma Castle dungeons and speak to him for me. Convince him to tell you where the gold is, and then we split it. He's not likely to just come out and end me, so get creative. Good afternoon. Speak, citizen. What a bother. Don't be too long about it. I got to stay with you, so there isn't any funny business. Touching the locks. I don't know who you are, nor do I care. All I know is that I want you to leave. I'm not talking to you about anything. You're an outsider. I bet you're trying to trick me into telling something and the guards put you up to it. That fetcher of a guard, Terelius, is always trying to be sneaky. Well, you can forget it. Tell him it isn't going to work. Touching the locks. Hey, it's all over, lawbreaker. Your spree is at an end. I'll take any stolen goods you have. The next move is yours. Pay your fine, or I'll haul you away. Hope you rot, criminal scum.
By the way the guards tossed you in here, I can see you're no friend of theirs. I suppose I can trust you. In fact, maybe you can help me with a bit of a problem and make some money for yourself in the process. I'm in here for the long haul. They got me for murder, even though I didn't do it. And once the Count makes a ruling, there's no way it's changing. I owe all of this to that heartless, treacherous witch, Arnora. You want to know what happened? I'll tell you. I was betrayed, stabbed in the back. I'm in here and Arnora's out there, living in my house. Ah, we were doing petty crimes all over Cyrodiil. Small scores. Ten gold here, twenty-five there. Nothing big enough to have them investigate you. Then along comes Arnora with a plan to waylay a tax shipment headed for the Imperial City. We're talking serious gold, complete with armed escorts. I told her she was crazy, but she insisted. Women have a way of getting men to do what they want. So we did it. We ambushed the shipment. In the process, Arnora killed a guard. I told her to be careful and just knock them out, but she didn't listen. We then buried the gold in the woods. Then she disappears to get supplies. Suddenly, the campsite gets raided by the Bruma City Guard. There's no way they could have found us. Well, there's no doubt she tipped them off. But I was one step ahead. I had moved the loot while she was away. <laughs> My final revenge. Or was it? I'll tell you. I want Arnora dead. That's right, I said dead. She took my life away, and now I want hers taken as well. You do this for me, and you get the gold. All of it. All I need is proof is that damn amulet she always wears. Show that to me, and the money is yours. Finally, a chance for revenge. What? Bye. What is it? 
What's going on with you? I've heard that. I haven't got all day. Prisoners may not accept gifts. Duty calls. What a bother. Show me the proof. Two amulets? One of them must be a fake. Clever girl. Taught her everything I know. Good thing you saw through her ruse. So she's dead, eh? Ha <laughs> ha! Finally! Finally someone has wiped that stupid smug grin off her face. <laughs> good, good. Well, you did your part of the bargain. Now I'll do mine. The gold is buried outside the walls of Bruma, near the North Gate. Goodbye. I don't expect to be seeing you anytime soon. If I were you, I'd get out of Bruma fast before the guards catch on that she's dead. I haven't got all day. I haven't got all day. Always a pleasure. What? Let's hear it. <laughs> 